Hey YouTube, what's happening? Chris here. I want to bring you all an update on Digibyte. We're going to be looking at it on the one day chart. Right now, Digibyte's down 1.11%. We're at about a, a penny here, guys, 0 0.0138. Going to look at some key areas, some different things that I'm seeing. And guys, you know, Digibyte's one of my favorite projects. I know a lot of you guys really like Digibyte as well. And if you like Digibyte, smash that thumbs up button. We'll keep doing these Digibyte videos maybe, you know, two or three a week, something like that. I'll try to get them out. Some of the things I'm seeing, what I want to go over. So we're going to dig into this, guys. And what I'm seeing here so far with Digibyte, we've been having a lot of rejection. Do you see these wicks right up top? So what happened was we tried to get through, and this is our 200-day moving average. This is our long-term investor moving average right there. So what a lot of institutions look at, they want to be up above that to confirm a bull market. So obviously, you'd want to start having higher highs and higher lows on top of that. But just even getting above that holding closes above that having good volume above that that's going to be a very big deal for the future of digibyte and also some of these other coins in the cryptocurrency space so we're seeing us just have that battle intense battle with it right now on the one day and if i zoom into this what you're seeing is we're actually down below it a little bit right now we're gonna to have to see where this closes today right now it's 605 p.m eastern time where i'm at so about another Guys, an hour and 55 minutes or so, we're going to find out where this close is going to be. And also, if we close up above this 20-day moving average, which is this like orange color here line, that would be important that we close up above that. And what would happen if we close up above that? Then we have a potential of really just being jammed in between these two, this 200-day moving average coming down and support from this 20-day EMA. And what happens typically, guys, you'll move sideways for a little bit, and then you'll break to the upside, you'll break to the downside. Now to the upside, we want to start having candle closes up above this 20 EMA. That's what I'm concerned about. You see all these wicks, so that all that's profit taking. And we had one, two, three. We had three days where we closed up above that. And now we're back down below it. And this is almost like a rickshaw man, pretty close here, or a long leg doji. You can see that little block here. We're gonna to have to see where it closes, but the bulls tried to push it up higher and get up above that again today and we saw a rejection. So let's see what we do if we close up above this 20 EMA or if we're just going to bounce around for a little bit. I would also on the downside look at support around this 50 moving average in blue as well as this intermediate term uptrend we've been carrying with this yellow trend line. That's what I would love to see a bounce off. That's what we want to pay attention to. If we start having candle closes below that, then we could stop, start dropping a little bit faster. But right now we're not at that point. We're at the point now we want to see if we find support off the 20 EMA or if we'll find support off the 50 or that trend line if we do go to the downside and to the upside we want to see if we can close up above this 200 day moving average which is going to be key now if we get up above the 200 day moving average and we start having some progress our next stop would be first guys we would probably go off the real bodies here at around 0 0.0151 I would look at to see if we can get up above that and then it would be this upper wick that we had and that's when we got to 0 0.0169 which is a key area there. That's a very long wick, so you had a lot of profit taking there. And also, also coincided with this little like bear flag that we had where we had this drop down, we moved sideways, and we dropped down again, which was something that you want to pay attention to are those bear flags and bull flags. But what I like to see also, guys, besides us holding this trend line, we're having higher highs and higher lows coming in down here, which is a very good thing, so we want to pay attention to that. And then also, guys, say we were to get up above here in the weeks to come, up above this wick. So this little wick here and then up to the next area. So this whole area we could potentially, we had a little blip here, but we could basically make it up on the backside in one big run. That's something that could happen. And I want to get my price range tool out and measure that and see what we'd have the potential of. You know, that could be a 30, 32, 30% 30 channel right in there. You know, like I said, we may stop there, but there's a lot of potential gains there that I don't think a lot of people really realize, and that could happen pretty fast, especially with Digibyte. When it gets moving, it really wants to run hard, so just, you know, keep your eye on that. Another thing that I wanted to point out to you was the RSI. So on the RSI, though, we kind of have this little triple top. So we have this left side here, then we have this middle part then we have this right side and we're also kind of trending a little bit down on that the overhead resistance is at 75 on the RSI and I'm gonna get that off there and the trend line that I would look to see is this one right here so see how it's just slightly going down right there we want to pay attention to what we do with this if we break up through that or if we start having bounces off that so I'm looking at that area and on on the downside now I'm looking around 43 this white line for support where we may get a bounce off this RSI so we can start moving higher again. 
So that's what I'm looking for in the RSI. We're just kind of in between that channel right now, paying attention. But, you know, guys, we kind of almost had that little head and shoulders there on the RSI. That's something you just want to be aware of. Am I saying it's going to happen and we're going to go through and we're going to break that white line? I'm not saying that. It's just something you want to keep your eye on. Remember, we always look to the upside and the downside and the sideways. The next thing I want to show you, and it's just actually left me here, was the RSI, but something from some past data that I was looking at that I want to show you. So, guys, with this big fall here, this big massive fall, a lot of basically retail investors like us, they got really nervous and they got really scared and they were selling out. And what you see here is this bounce here, then we had a reaction, then we came down even farther and people were freaking out. But what you were seeing was a divergence on the RSI. So the price was going down, right? But this RSI was going up. And do you see this? Do you see these higher lows? And there was some people who basically were selling the bottom of their coins because they were so nervous about that drop. But in all actuality, if they were looking at this RSI, they would have been able to see, okay, we're dropping and we're real low right here, but we just made a higher low. So most likely if I went long in this position, also seeing that doji candle there, with a little bit of volume then we may start getting moved to the upside now right now we moved to the upside but we've kind of just been sideways steadily climbing we haven't had any explosive moves but you know guys this cryptocurrency they can come in very fast they can come in very aggressive and it can be while you're sleeping all of a sudden a guy in Japan a big whale is going to put in a, a ton of money and we can blast to the upside very fast so this is also a coin that you kind of want to have in your possession because of how fast it moves and if we back out on this take a look on the one week guys how fast this moves all right so look at these rides that we're on I mean this is basically straight up straight down straight up straight down and even look at those reactions I mean those are just massive moves guys I mean think of it think of this take a look at this how flat this price was down in here look how many zeros before that one six and then look where it got all the way up to almost what seven cents six cents guys percentage gains take a look at this and this is what blows my mind this is why only in crypto look at those percentage gains guys 9,071 so this is what's possible and this is the thing like if you're buying coins especially new coins of a new project down in here and you ever see one of those straight spike up guys and we're not we didn't haven't had a ton of support like this was a straight spike up always take your profits never be afraid of that because most likely you can take your profits and then buy them back a lot cheaper and you'll have more money to buy them cheaper and you can you know do it do it over again but you know, really look for that stuff that's built on stilts. Pay attention to reactions. Pay attention to all the tweezer tops. You know, over here, tweezer tops were showing. Things that will show you when to take profit. That's what you really need to pay attention to. But those are just some of the areas I wanted to look at. There's not a ton going on for Digibyte right now or the rest of the market. Not huge moves. You know, we're just kind of bouncing around a little bit. But pay very close attention to those wicks. Pay very close attention to that 200-day moving average that we want to really look at especially on the one day chart here how we've just been really trying to get up above it but we've been having these wicks here and we've been having that rejection so let's see what we do with the 20 EMA that 50 moving average in the trend line here we're in a tight area guys so if you like what we do here like subscribe hit that notification bell proud of each and every one of you working hard studying and really learning this stuff with me I'm a newbie at all this too and uh, we're just gonna keep working together guys take care